Now, government has earmarked a chunk of the Zongo Development Fund for both infrastructural and human resource development in deprived communities such as Zongos across the country. Sivazen, the Minister for Inner City and Zongo Development, Al Haji Abubakar Sadiq Boniface, has identified some projects in the Tamale metropolis that will benefit from the initiative. Zango is usually a sprawling, densely populated community where people from diverse ethnic backgrounds can be found, with Muslims being the predominant religious group. Often, such areas are poverty-stricken, with a good number of residents being artisans, petty traders, and blue-collar workers. Due to the low levels of education and high levels of poverty in Zangos, some young people are easily lured into social deviance in their bid to earn a living. It is to avert the situation that the Akufuadu administration instituted the Inner City and Zango Development Ministry as well as setting up the Zango Development Fund. The fund is to help change the face of infrastructure in these deprived communities, up the socio-economic conditions there, protect the culture, improve security and the general conditions of life in Zangos across the country. A needs assessment tour of the Zangos first took the sector minister, al Haj Abubakar Sadiq Boniface, and his team of experts to Tamale Metropolis, which is home to two Zangos, Hausa Zango and Moshi Zango, led by the Sarki Zongo and the mayor of Tamale Metropolitan Assembly, Idrisu Musa Superior, the team inspected the Center for Islamic Studies Research. The center is a convergence point for the large Shia community, a sect of Muslims in the Tamale metropolis. Though the Arabic school is in good shape, the al Bayt Mosque, built in 1996, is being renovated for the first time through the self-help of the Shia Muslim community. We do have our tafsir of the Holy Quran in Ramadan. Yeah, as well. Very big population normally occupies the place. We are hoping uh, it will help by I mean, individual I mean, Muslim donors be able to I mean, complete it, inshallah, schedule. But government indicates to GBC24 that it has and will continue to support the community. The intention, the leadership of our Sure that we address the social ills of society. Education is key. If we provide education, we are able to build a society that can help develop our country. We are not expecting that government should do all everything. Uh, the private sector, individuals, and companies, corporate bodies, through their corporate social responsibility, can fall on us through us give support to the Muslim or the Zongo communities. From here, the team went to Hausa Zango, where they inspected some ongoing infrastructural projects before meeting the leadership of the community. The Zango chiefs and imams listed their challenges and preferred solutions to their underdevelopment. Moshi Zango was the last port of call for Alhaji Abubakar Sadiq Boniface. Though located on the land of indigenous Dagombes, one can hardly count residences of indigenous. It is a sprawling community of Moshis, Sisales, Grushis, Dagates, Wales, and many others. The minister also warned the youth against the use of narcotic drugs. Unto Bibini Unto, GBC 24, Tamale.